on the Mars Show. Everybody, please welcome back to the Mari Show, Scotty. Now, let me tell you about Scotty. Last year, Scotty appeared on our show because her own mother, Angie, had convinced Scotty's boyfriend, Terry, that he was not the father of their daughter, Anna Scott. Angie, the mom, claimed that the father was a man named Chris. Watch this. I'm here to prove today that my daughter's boyfriend, Terry, is not the father of my grandbaby, Anna Sky. I know Scotty had a one-night stand with Chris two weeks before she got with Terry. She heard you. If she heard anyone, it was me and him. She ain't heard us do nothing. Why's your mother turned? She's delusional. I don't know. Ask her more. I don't know. She says you got pregnant too quickly when you started going Oh, out. now she can tell me when I ovulate? <laughs> Two weeks before Terry was born with Scotty, it was I called her screwing Let's friend. Let's bring a dick and say that was okay. your yes. son's moment. <laughs> you know this ain't your baby. You want your 15 right. minutes. Hold on. Did you be the father of this child? It is a possibility because me and Scotty slept together while she was still sleeping with him. When it comes to Anna Scott, Chris, you are not the father. <laughs> Terry, you are the father. <laughs> After the last show, Scotty and Terry had another daughter named Oriah. And so why would the grandmother be back? Because Angie again thinks that Terry is not the father of this child either. Oh. You have had severe health problems, haven't you? Yes, sir. You? I was born with a kidney disease. You're on dialysis? Yes, sir. I'm on dialysis right and you're, now. And your little one? Is sick with the same thing I have. Yes, sir. Oh. She's five months old. So and not only do I go through my child being sick, telling she, she can't even leave the hospital, then I have to hear my mom telling me that's not his child. She says she witnessed something. This is what she's saying. not true, Scott. My ex came to my mom's house, and she wasn't there. So I pulled up, and he was there. He wanted to go in and freshen up. I let him to my mom's house. That's he came lie. out. He was freshened up. She sure walked was. in, and Wouldn't here she goes, what have y'all been doing? What have y'all... Did you tell Terry about the ex? No, I didn't No, she first. didn't. No, and I mean, I did, and it wasn't a big deal. When he asked me about it, I told him the truth. Like, the truth is going to be shown today. <laughs> you don't speak to me in my house with the damn door locked. This is what she said. My daughter is sick. What would what, what happen? Something happens to her. I don't want to be stuck cleaning up my daughter's mess. Exactly, Maury. I might be sick physically, but I'm not sick enough that I don't know who the hell I slept with and who's the father of my kids. Here's your mom, Angie. Angie, come on out. What the damn going on? Shut your line up. You were proven wrong before. I was proven wrong with the DNA. <laughs> But not what she's done to me at my no, house, Mark. I haven't Mark. done nothing. Sit your hand down, girl. Here, the point is, we're here for DNA. And we're here and to I the truth. And nobody but yes, Terry. Sir, sir, I ain't with nobody. My house, God, God, I walked him in there to clean Angie, up. Angie, Maury, can Angie. I tell you this? I didn't ask her to invite this man to my house. I pull up in my yard. Just we live the in the ex, country. So the ex comes to her. Can, can y'all hush her up? I'm telling my story. Okay. My story. Angie, Angie, how long was that guy in that house? Oh, nice. But I do know my door was...